Imagine waking up, opening your laptop, and seeing $500 deposited into your account, all before you've even had your morning coffee. Sounds like a dream, right? Well, what if I told you that this could be your reality with the right skills and strategy? Today, we're gonna be diving into how the Google Data Analytics Certificate can be your golden ticket to earning $500 a day. And stick around, because by the end of the video, you'll have a roadmap to turn data into dollars. Hey there, Shane Hummus here, and welcome back to the channel where we explore the best opportunities in remote work and online certifications. Today, we're we're going to be tackling a big one, how to leverage the Google Data Analytics Certificate to earn $500 a day. Now I know what you're thinking, Shane, that sounds too good to be true. But hear me out because I'm about to show you exactly how it's possible. Now before we dive into the money making strategies, let's talk about what the Google Data Analytics Certificate actually is. So first of all, it was developed by Google and it's part of the Grow with Google initiative. And it's a joint partnership between Google and Coursera. Now the reason they developed this certificate is because they simply did not have enough people out there that had these skills. So there was a huge supply and demand imbalance. There's a huge amount of demand for people that have these data analytics skills and there wasn't enough supply. So Google getting tired of colleges and certification companies took it into their own hands to tell people exactly the skills that they want. This is not something that Google's probably making a lot of money off of. They can make way more money in other places. This is literally them just telling you what type of skills that they want people to have. And this cert is gonna teach you the foundations of data analytics skills. There's also no prior experience required. And they say on the website, site that it can be completed in about six months at about 10 hours per week, but almost everybody reports that they're able to complete it in about a month or two max. And it covers tools like SQL, R, Tableau, and Google Sheets. And they have hands-on projects that are included that you can put in your portfolio. And on top of it all, it is super affordable. First of all, you can audit a lot of these Coursera certificates completely free, but if you want to get the certificate itself, it's probably going to take you one to two months, and they typically charge about $40 to $50 per month. So that's a maximum of about $100. That is significant significantly cheaper than pretty much all of the other certs that are out on the market. Plus the first seven days are free and they offer scholarships. So just go ahead and click on the link to see if you apply for any of those because the prices I think are a little bit different in different countries and stuff. So yeah, just click on the link to see because sometimes I get comments like, oh, it costs me $50 and oh, it costs me $40 and stuff like that. So yeah, just click on the link. But yeah, this certificate is your fast track to becoming job ready in a high demand field of data analytics. But here's the kicker. It's not just about getting a job. It's about positioning yourself to command high high rates as a freelancer or consultant. Now let's talk about why data analytics is such a lucrative field. First of all, there's massive demand. Companies are drowning in data and they need skilled professionals to make sense of it all. Second, there's a skill shortage. There aren't enough qualified data analysts to meet the demand. Third, it's a high value skill. Data-driven decisions can save or make companies millions or even billions of dollars. Fourth, it's applicable across all industries. Literally every industry, every sector, every type of company needs data analysts. And then and fifth, it's remote friendly. So it's perfect for those wanting to work from anywhere. All right, so now the part you've been waiting for, how to actually make $500 a day. Here's your exact roadmap. First of all, you wanna master the certificate content. Don't just complete the courses, truly understand the material. Then you wanna practice with real world data sets. Now you could make this fun and just combine it with the hobby that you have. For instance, if you like doing jujitsu, you could talk about which submissions are the most effective at every different belt level. It doesn't have to be boring stuff, it can be fun. And in fact, it's better to be fun in many cases because it showcases your personality. Then you want to build a portfolio of projects and this can be done completely free. And a pro tip here is to ask AI what portfolios would be impressive for different types of companies or industries that you're going to be trying to get into. Next, you want to specialize in high paying niches. So if you want to specialize in finance, for instance, you need to study things like risk analysis, fraud detection. If you want to specialize in healthcare, you want to study things like patient outcome prediction and cost optimization. For e-commerce, you'd study things like customer behavior analysis and inventory optimization. And for marketing, there's campaign performance analysis and customer segmentation. Then you want to develop additional complementary skills. So for instance, you can learn Python for advanced data manipulation. You can also master data visualization tools such as Power BI, and you can understand machine learning basics. And a huge thing you can do here that's really gonna set you apart is to build a personal brand. Create a professional website showcasing your portfolio, write data analytics articles on Medium or LinkedIn, contribute to open source projects on GitHub, and basically just interact with other people online, building your personal brand. If you consistently do this, I can almost guarantee you that you're going to be getting inbound job opportunities in no time. And the next one is an absolute cheat code that most people don't know about, and that is leveraging freelance platforms. See, there's a catch 22 problem with pretty much all jobs these days. You need to get an entry level job, but entry level jobs require one to three years of experience. So what are you supposed to do? Well, one easy way to get around that is to freelance. 
So create standout profiles on Upwork, Freelancer, TopTal, or even Fiverr.com, and start with smaller projects to build reviews and reputation. I mean, even if you're charging five or $20 and it takes you a few hours to do it, that is real money that a real company paid you to do data analysis. That is huge. So that means you absolutely 100% do have work experience at that point, and you can put that on your resume and your portfolio, and then gradually increase your rates as you gain experience. Now you can actually just continue doing this if you want. I've had people do that before, but something that's very common is using this in order to get a job. And another cheat code, which by the way, if you've been creating a personal brand online, it's gonna make this a lot easier, is to network and find direct clients. So attend data analytics conferences and meetups if you can. If there is no meetup in your town, then make one. Join online communities and forums. This one is absolutely huge. And then reach out to businesses directly with tailored proposals. And one thing you can do is offer specialized services. For instance, let's say you specialize in data analysis for e-commerce. You could offer e-commerce data cleaning and preparation, which would be $50 to $100 an hour or more. E-commerce dashboard creation, which would be $100 to $200 per hour or more. E-commerce predictive modeling, which would be $150 to $300 an hour or more. E-commerce data strategy consulting, which would be $200 to $500 an hour or more. I think you get the point. The more specialized you get, the higher you can charge. And you're going to be an absolute expert on that tiny little niche. Now, at this point, of course, you can continue freelancing, you can get a job, you probably have tons of options, but if you wanna start your own business, a really good idea would be to create scalable products. So you could develop data analytics courses or workshops, you could create and sell data analytics templates or tools, and you could offer group coaching or mentoring sessions. And by the way, there are a ton of success stories of people that have taken the Google Data Analytics Professional Cert, and they've been able to get a job and start making a ton of money. Now, let's talk about some practical tips for success. First of all, time management. Treat your freelancing like a full-time job. You want to aim for six to eight billable hours per day. Also, continuous learning. The field evolves rapidly, so you need to stay updated with the latest tools and techniques. And although this might sound annoying, it's also a really good opportunity because there's a lot of people out there that are going to get lazy and they're not going to stay up to date, but that's not you. Next, over-deliver. Exceed client expectations to secure repeat business and referrals. Next, effective communication. Learn to explain complex data and insights in simple terms. Also, I'll mention uh, ethical considerations. Always prioritize data privacy and ethical analysis because that's been a really big problem over the last 10 to 15 years. Now let's talk about some potential challenges and how you can overcome them. So the first one is initial client acquisition. A solution for this is to start with lower rates and build your portfolio and reviews. In fact, your first few clients you might even consider doing completely free. You can reach out to friends, family members, or just people in your personal network and ask them if they have any data that you could analyze analyze and any projects you could do for them. Or you could even reach out to local businesses and offer free consultations to showcase your expertise. Another problem might be inconsistent income. And a solution for this is to build a diverse client base across different industries. So it's better to offer multiple different niche services than to offer one general service. And another thing you could do is create passive income streams. For instance, you could get a job and you could also do freelancing. Another problem is imposter syndrome. And a solution to this is just to join support groups for data professionals and realize that just about everyone has imposter syndrome. You can also keep a wins journal to track your accomplishments and also just realize in general that it's something that everyone has to get over. Another problem might be staying motivated. So a solution to this is to set clear financial and professional goals and also find an accountability partner or mentor. Now let's talk about the tools of the trade because to reach that $500 per day goal, you'll need to master these tools. First of all, you've got SQL and this is for querying and managing large data sets. Then you've got R and or Python. So this is gonna be for statistics analysis and machine learning. And to be honest, many companies are going to want one or the other or both. Then you've got Tableau and or Power BI. And this is for creating powerful visualizations. And again, many companies are going to want one or the other or in some cases both. And it really depends on the industry you go in and the type of niche you're working in, etc. Next is understanding Excel and or Google Sheets. Now Excel is the more common one, but Google Sheets is used as well. And this of course is for quick analysis and reporting. Then you've got Git for version control and collaboration. And it's also really good to familiarize yourself with cloud platforms such as AWS, Google Cloud, and or Azure. AWS is probably the most common one, but again, it's going to depend on the industry you go into and the niche you go into. So it's good to at least be familiar with all of them. And then let's talk about the math behind $500 a day. So let's break down how you can actually hit this target. Let's say you do two hours of data cleaning at $100 per hour. Then you've got three hours of analysis and visualization at $150 an hour. So that's $200 plus $450 so far. Then you've got one hour of client consultation at $200 per hour. So that's a total of $850 for 
six hours of work. Now, remember, as you gain experience and specialize, your rates can increase significantly. So there you have it, your roadmap to making $500 a day with the Google Data Analytics Certificate. Is it easy? No. Is it achievable? Absolutely. With dedication, smart positioning, and continuous improvement, you can turn this certificate into a lucrative career. And remember, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Your first step, sign up for that Google Data Analytics certificate. Your future self will thank you. And by the way, if you want a full review on the Google Data Analytics professional certificate, you can check that out by clicking right here.